Ever wondered what role the royal family plays in international diplomacy? Well, Prince William's recent visit to the British Red Cross headquarters might give us some insight. As the date drew nearer, anticipation swirled, tinged with scepticism. His previous statements on the Israel-Palestine conflict had stirred controversy, and many were curious to see how he would navigate these complex waters. The Prince's ambition was clear, to establish himself as a global statesman amidst the ongoing conflict. With the stage set, Prince William was poised to step into the fraught world of international diplomacy. The day of the visit arrived, and with it, a somewhat subdued affair. Prince William, stepping into the British Red Cross headquarters, focused on the pragmatic, the practical, and the pressing. Conversations with British aid workers revolved around the delivery of medical supplies to Gaza, a region in dire need of relief. This was not a day for grandstanding or political posturing, but rather a moment to discuss the tangible steps towards aid distribution. The Prince also engaged in a video link-up, connecting directly with personnel in the conflict zones. This interactive exchange, while brief, offered a glimpse into the realities on the ground, underscoring the urgency of the situation. It was a moment of digital diplomacy, an attempt by the Prince to bridge the distance and engage firsthand with the unfolding crisis. Despite the criticism, the visit underscored the crucial humanitarian work being conducted in the region. And so, the visit unfolded, revealing a royal engagement that, while controversial, brought much needed attention to the plight of those in conflict zones. In the aftermath of Prince William's visit, the reactions were as diverse as they were poignant. The public and expert commentators alike have been quick to weigh in on the Prince's foray into the complex world of international diplomacy. Critics, including historians and policy experts, have not held back, deriding the Prince's attempt as superficial and politically naive. They argue that his engagement with such a sensitive geopolitical issue lacked the depth and tact required, painting a picture of ambition overshadowing the genuine pursuit of international goodwill. However, others have called attention to the Prince's focus on the crucial humanitarian work being carried out in the region. The visit highlighted the collaborative efforts between the British Red Cross and its international partners in alleviating the dire straits of the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. The visit has also sparked a conversation about the delicate balance between royal visibility, political neutrality, and the pursuit of international goodwill. The royal family's role as figureheads of the nation is well established, but Prince William's efforts to position himself as a global statesman raise questions about the extent of their involvement in international affairs. So what does this mean for the future of royal diplomacy? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, Prince William's visit has sparked a renewed interest in the role of the royal family in international affairs.